Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the doctor preppers for Prep and Data, which is a weekly challenge website to help you improve your Tableau prep skills. So if you haven't heard of us before, please do come along. We love uh, helping people out with their Tableau prep knowledge. So today we're talking about how to connect to RServe in Tableau prep. Now, this is something that became possible in 2019.3 and onwards. Um, it's via the script tool in uh, Tableau Prep. And basically, it allows you to import um, scripts that you've written in R into Tableau Prep. So the first thing that we need to do is download R and set up an R serve environment. Um, now, we're only going to be going through doing this locally on your machine. If you're planning on using these scripts via your Tableau server, then you'll need to um, follow the guidelines that Tableau sets out for that and the TSM commands. Um, so this process is just for setting up on your local machine only. And good news that I have for you is that I've written a blog on this a few months back. So all these steps are written down for you as well as me talking you through them now. So hopefully that's a useful resource to you as well. So first of all, downloading R. You just need to find your most uh, local region. Uh, I'm in the UK, so I select the UK. And then you download one of the R packages. Um, so whether you're on Linux, Mac or Windows, just download the one that's appropriate to you. It'll install in kind of the normal way. And then once you open up R, sometimes it's tricky to find. Um, it's in an app folder called R, just the letter R, which makes it difficult to search for sometimes, um, but it is there, I promise. Um, then this is what you're greeted with every time you open R. Now, in order to go about installing our R serve, we need to install a package. So we go to the packages drop down at the top here, and then we select install packages. And that's going to bring us a pop out window. And we're once again going to have to select our region to first of all install those packages. So I'm just selecting London for myself because that's where I am. And that brings you another pop out window for all the different packages. Now it's in alphabetical order and we just got to scroll down till we find our serve. So here it is for us. I just click OK once I found it. And you can see that in the console here, it's sort of starting to install it. It's saying that it's successfully unpacked it which is wonderful. And you can see it's stored it on my local machine. To actually now um, load that package before I can use it, I go into packages again, and the top option is load packages, brings another nice pop-up menu, and we can see that our serve is in our packages now, whereas it wouldn't have been before. So we click OK on that, and we can see that it's kind of saved it into our local, um, library as well. So now we can call the function. So we literally just type the word rserve, open and close brackets, and hit enter. And you can see it's now starting our rserve in our local sort of machine. So now we can go ahead and go to Tableau Prep and connect to that rserve. So in Tableau Prep, I just have a list of numbers from 1 to 10 called n. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a script step. So just in the normal way of adding another tool, I add in a script. Now you can see it's got a nice little alert at the moment. What's it trying to tell us? Oh, I've not actually specified a script file at the moment. Okay, no problem. We haven't configured the tool yet. So uh, you'll notice that my connection type is set to our serve here, and you can see that it is already connected to my local server. So how do we do that? It's different whether you're in Tableau 2020.3.3. From Tableau 2020.3.3 onwards, it looks like how I'm about to show you. Um, but from before, there would have been a button here to allow you to connect to um, your R serve. But for 2020.3.3 um, onwards, it looks more like this. It tells you how to connect um, by going to help settings and performance and manage your analytical um, extensions. So let's just do that. So we go into help, we go into settings and performance, and we go into manage analytics extension connection. So just to show you the full path there, and it brings us this pop out. So we're looking at our serve for this video. So we go to that and all we need to type in is localhost and port 6311. And then you click sign in 
and it just gives you the message here that we're connected to the local host. So that's nice and simple. So how do we actually go about writing a script for, um, for our functions that we want to use? You go into File, New Script in R, and it brings you a script editor that you can start typing away in. I'll just show you the one that we're going to be connecting to today. It's very simple. I'm just opening it from my files and it's just a multiply function. It's just going to multiply everything by two. If I just zoom in to give you a better look at that, very simple. Um, and this is the file, basically the .r extension, the script that we're going to connect to in Tableau Prep. So if I just head on over back to Tableau Prep and find that in my files, just in the same way that I did before, we just then need to tell it what function to look for because you could have multiple functions in your script file. So it is called multiply. It is case sensitive, so be careful there. And if you were eagle eyed, you will notice that our numbers from one to 10 have now become our numbers two to 20. Well, multiplied, not every single number, but you see what I mean. Um, and that's a very simple R script, but that's how you get it to connect and how to work on your local machine. So hopefully that has been a useful um, walkthrough for you. If you're interested in learning more about how to connect to Python in Tableau Prep, then please watch our video on that. But for now, thank you for watching.